Okay, welcome back here to the next video. In this video, I want to go a bit more advanced there in terms of our procedural technique. So I want to break up the breakups here with bump and we can do that very easily. So we need to have, let me think about quickly. We have it here as well. So we can use, okay, now let's, let's do it individually. Let's do it for now, just here on the yellow part. So this one here is, uh, maybe, maybe it will be a bit smarter to have this area we have painted here in front of the masking out here. So that's a bit a bad side, a bad thing on my side, which I haven't realized while I did that on the video before. So it was a bit of a gap in between recording that stuff. So sorry for that. So, but we can continue anyway. So let's go and add a bake point here. Bake point. And that's fine here. Let's change it for 4K. Hook it up here and look through it after it's auto saved. So here we have all the uh, mask data and we can bake it quickly. And here we have the filters and the filters are actually very cool. So we can add here a filter called Gaussian. It's the Gaussian you know also from Photoshop and we can blur here the edges. So maybe you, you would think oh, why they are doing that and you can see that in a minute. Let's hit apply. And now we can go inside, not, not inside, we can go here uh, inside the no node graph. Hey, can I talk today? I don't know. And add our brightness lookup node, which I said earlier in a video, it's like a curve. So by pressing here on that button, yeah, I don't want to dock it. We can now isolate the edges here. And let's try to create a bit of a ramp here and we need to invert it, I guess. Invert it so it's on the outside. Is it on the outside? No, now it's on the inside, right? I'm completely failing here. No, 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 I think, I think, no, it's it's right that way, sorry. I was just confused for for a little moment. Let's open it again. And let's try to adjust it here a bit more. Maybe something like that. And we have a ramp here. So we need to insert here a new merge node. And we need this data here as well. Let's have a quick look. So I need to know, do we need to invert it for the multiply? Ah, uh, no, no, we need this data here. And invert it, yes. Oh no, we don't need to invert. Sorry for the back and forth. And here, change to multiply. So now we have stamped it out here in that areas and we just have it here on the, on the inside. And we can break that up with a new merge node bring in texture yeah why not we can try it out hook it up go here for multiply as well it's no longer visible just in that case here that spot but by increasing here the tiling we will get a few more spots so it's now cut out on a few spots while it's maintaining it on different areas maybe even more or we can also try out a cloud why not so let's look for a size and with a levels node a bit more contrast to it So 
something like that. So now we can see here we don't have it while here it's it's visible. We can have a look if we can change it a bit. So maybe something like that. It's actually pretty nice. We don't need this one here. Nice. And now we have created an isolation mask for for some bump elevation on the edges. And we can use that by inserting here a new bake point. That's fine. Bake it quickly. And now we can go for export and export bake it to geo channel. And we need to create first a geo channel for that object. And we can press the plus button and no, oh, why are you gone? Please stay. <laughs> Object, pin it here for a moment. Pin it here and call it um, edge bump iso. Why not? And here we can choose it and export back to Geo Channel. So now it has exported this data, which is here stored into the Geo Channel, which is actually a pretty nice thing. So we can go back here and maybe we will quickly disable here this one, this one, and this one. Yes, that's it. And view our shader. And nothing happened because we need to use that data which we extracted here from our mask to drive here the bump. So we can insert here a new merge node and a new color, hook it up over, yes, change it here to scalar. And we can use here the Geo Channel node, it's a super handy uh, feature. And here we want the uh, isolation for the edge bump. So now it's loading. Oh, yes. All right. So now we can have a look if something happens here. It's not that super visible, but you can see it here. It gives some elevation. Here we have some elevation as well. It's pure white, it should look like that as well. So yeah, here we can see it. It's just a subtle effect, but it will help for the realism later, trust me. Think it's a bit too strong. We can dial it back a bit. Maybe something like that. Yes. And let's go back and bake this crazy stuff. It's anyway just a bump. And great. I will bake this one here and then we see us in the next video.